So there's one. See? There you go. Oh, I could do that all day. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Some of the other ones aren't quite as... So you do 100 of those every day. Okay. So you might have to start off with, you know, you might have to only do maybe 10 at first. Yeah. So you do 10 twice a day and then 20 twice a day and then, you know, eventually you get to where you can do 100 twice a day. Okay. That will begin to help you. And then the other one is when you get up on a pipe, pull up a little bit and do the leg lifts. Keep your legs straight and do whatever you can do at first. But eventually you get to the point where you can go like this all yeah. the way up. You I've know? seen you do that many times. Mm -hmm. So just kind of start doing that and you'll, you'll get it. You'll get it. Oh, yeah. Because you, you guys already have the finger, finger strength already. Now you just need to get the core inside here going. I started, I got the finger strength from the push-ups, finger push-ups. I oh, started yeah. doing those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you saw what it did. So when you start taking multiple digestive enzymes, every time you eat, five to ten of them, every time you eat, you know, that will begin to help you right there in itself. But if you start taking the probiotics, and cult especially culturizing your food, I like the idea of taking a little probiotic at nighttime before you go to bed, just to help start re culturizing your whole system. <clears throat> Anybody that has stomach a stomach ache, or uh, sometimes they get food poisoning. People go out eat re at restaurant food, and they get stomach, you know they get a stomach ache or a food poisoning kind of a situation. The probiotic blend. We have a bottle here. Will, will you guys bring it out? Yeah, it's over here. <clears throat> this, the probiotics in this little bottle, is not only plant-based protolytic, but it has an ability. Like if you have food poisoning, you take a tablespoon of this inside you every hour in the hour. Within two, three hours, the symptoms are all gone. You know, people that have food poisoning, they throw up, they have diarrhea, you know, they're all messed up. A tablespoon every hour in the hour, within two, three hours, symptoms are gone. It stops them in, in, its, in its track. These are strong, friendly bacteria that go after the bad ones. It just cleans up the system, balances it out. It's kind of cool. But what I like to do with it mostly is make yogurt with it. You know, we're going to do that today, so we're going to show you. So if you do, if you do one thing, take some multiple digestive enzymes with your food. Unless you have uh, ulcers or gastritis or Crohn's disease, then you're going to take a different uh, enzyme formula. It's called, gastri uh, it's called gastric digestive enzymes. That's, that's good and designed for those people. So you just take five before you eat, and maybe five, three times a day between your meals, empty stomach. An empty stomach means an hour or more before meals or two hours or more after meals. But... First, take enzymes with your meals. Second, take a little bit of probiotic at nighttime. Preferably, culture your foods with it to help start not only pre-digesting your seeds and nuts and unlocking the amino acids and the fatty acids and the, glu and the glucose from the seeds and nuts. See, that's what's missing out there. Most people are the, out there eat nuts and beans and grains and all that kind of, they usually cook them or they eat them raw. But if you eat them raw, it has enzyme inhibitors inside them, like almonds as an example. Mm -hmm. Almonds, a lot of people eat raw, but raw almond butter or raw almonds like that. It's hard on the system. Now, the enzyme inhibitors in the almonds are actually toxic to your system. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it, those seeds are dormant. They're not enzyme activated yet. So that's why it's important that we soak them for 24 hours, preferably. I mean, 12 hours minimum. But at least, I like to do my 24 hours because it, it gives it more time to release those enzyme inhibitors and the tannic acid from the skin. But at the same time, it allows them to slightly germinate internally. I like that. And so, but that's but you want to use untreated almonds if you're going to do that. You don't want to use these, you know, pasteurized almonds that you find in the health food store anymore. That, that say raw. <laughs> yeah, they say raw, but they're not really raw. They're pasteurized now by law. So if anybody in here wants uh, to go home with a bag of almonds, uh, then they're they're here. We have a, we have a few bags. They're five pound bags. Uh, they're seven dollars a pound. So seven times five is thirty five. So a thirty five pound bag. People that call us out there in the field, you know, they call and say, oh, I want to ship to me, it's 60 bucks, including shipping, of course. But right here in the hand, right now they can do it for $35, which is pretty cool for us. That's great. Yeah. But anyway, here's the thing. When you get those almonds, soak them up, and you put that coconut meat and coconut water, whip it up in the cream, and put this probiotic with it, it cultures in about three or four hours. Nice. Yeah. Now it's pre-digested. Now it's easy to di you know, absorb it and utilize it. And it's so much easier on your system. And you can build lean muscle, hair, skin, and bones, and give you power. That's why I did this thing off the floor, just to let you see. Here's a guy that hasn't worked out for 40 years. I'm 50, no, 58, and, and I'm 5'9", uh, 160 in weight, and I have pretty good strength. And I didn't even work out. And let me tell you, when the day comes when I'm going to go back to working out and training, oh, pff, we're going to smoke this thing. We're going to have a few people around like Dan, 
Ryan, or maybe Fritz, you know, work out a little bit, do a little core training. Oh, we're gonna smoke this thing. We're gonna we're gonna just literally in, in, inspire the whole planet because we're gonna see this and gonna go, whoa! I, I want to be like Dan, you know, or I want to be like Lou or Brian or Fritz, you know. They're cool, you know, and they're gonna start shifting because they're gonna see that this is the truth. We don't need to kill animals anymore to eat them and, and, and live on them anymore. We don't even need to do that anymore. There is a way how we can live a peaceful, harmonious life and live on plant foods powerfully and have strength, energy, and vitality and power all at the same time. Just like the gorilla does. Yeah. The gorilla lives that way. The gorilla just eats plants. He eats a bunch of greens, fruits, seeds, and bamboo. And look at him. He's 700 pounds of muscle, right? That's why I do the demonstration on the floor to let you see, here's a guy that doesn't really work out, doesn't serve, doesn't work out, doesn't weigh, live, nothing. Just do a little bit of stretching and deep breathing. I do occasional rebounding, swimming. Swimming, rebounding, yoga, breath work, all those are internal forms of exercise. So you know. You know? So that's what I do. About 20 minutes a day of either one of them. You know? And that little bit, look at the kind of energy. I, I want to say like, that's that's exactly what I, I do. Twenty minutes of rebounding or deep breathing um, a day, and just by doing that alone, within the, within the last month, I've went from not being able to get off the ground to being able to to get off the ground on my fingertips. And I, I know it doesn't seem like much, but to me, it feels like a, it seems like a lot when I can't even get off the ground. You know, a month ago, like trying repeatedly, and now I can get off the ground and get my legs up a little bit. Yeah, that's and that, that totally shows me that like. You know, the lymphatic exercise, the cellular exercise, you know, along with the, you know, oh, yeah. being on my culturization, culturizing and eating it daily mm -hmm. and also taking the enzymes of every meal um, all together really has been fine tuning me. It's been great. Uh, I've been doing it for many years and I appreciate and value the whole enzyme concept. I know mm. that I didn't want to at first because I didn't want to take like a supplement or something outside of just eating raw living foods because I did that for many years living off the land. So it works and it's powerful and as long as you're living off rich soil. But our soil in the, in the U.S. out there, that's why the people who supply health food stores and farmers markets, the soil is depleted. It, yep. it, it really is. Mineral and enzyme de de deficient. So I don't, mind, I don't mind taking enzymes with my meals to compensate because you see I've already made the declaration years ago. That I want to live my life at its fullest. I want to be as healthy as I can. I want to have energy. I want to have vitality. And I'm not, I'm not interested in going back to degenerating myself or sabotaging myself or hurting myself or abusing myself like I did in the past. See, in the past, I took my life for granted. And I ate terrible foods that were very hard to process and digest. And it, it backed me up. It, it got me all clogged up and toxic. And it, mess, it really messed me up. But I'm glad that I went through it because I learned a lot from that, you know. So I, I'm not regretting anything I've experienced. I'm just, let you, I'm just saying, because I've been working with enough people, I've noticed that when I can help them how to master digestion and break the, help them break down their foods and process it and show them how to detoxify the body, and I use uh, enzymes and herbs and probiotics and all that kind of stuff between meals to help clean up the old stuff out of the system, so if you can show people how to eat food in a way where it's easier to digest it and process it, and also give them some enzymes to make sure everything gets broken down and digested so they can absorb more and get more nutritional value from what they're consuming. And then you can show them how to take enzymes like Vitalase. I like, I love Vitalase. Vital, this, is, this one here was multiple digestive enzymes here. But the Vitalase is four times stronger than this one. And, and uh, so when you take that between the meals on empty stomach, oh yeah, they go right into the system, right into the blood, and it starts digesting like little Pac-Man, start breaking down these undigested proteins, carbohydrates, and fats that are trapped in people's bodies. But it also dissolves mucoid placking that's inside the intestinal tract. It dissolves placking in the arteries. It dissolves protein placking that gets in the brain that messes with people. You know, if you get protein placking in your brain, there goes your memory. There goes the neurotransmitter is not able to crossfire and, and allow you to think powerfully. You can't even, you, you, you lose your ability to even reason or be able to see things or think of things, you know. You, your, your mind gets kind of foggy. So this protein placking is a big deal. A lot of people have memory loss. They have, their concentration drops and they get foggy and, all, and then they, 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 they can't reason properly. And all kinds of weird things happen if you're not getting all the amino acids, fatty acids, and glucose into your brain. But at the same time, if you have protein placking going on, 